and you are underestimating yourself because you are vine. Vines produce fruit. Vines produce fruit. Vines produce one of the greatest drinks of your time. Because I don't drink. It's called wine. Bars. Vines produce wine. Vines. Hold on. Vines are so imperative. Let me blow your mind. Can you just share this? Let me share this for you. Or maybe you share it later. Let me help you. The Bible declares that everything is made for him, by him, and for his purpose. That's scripture. But have you ever thought about this, Wendy Walker Crump? I love you too. Vines produce. Veins produce as well. Vines, veins. Same similarities. Hear me. Because the vines coil in turn. Veins coil in turn. Vines produce red wine. Veins produce red blood. And so simultaneously, they both are flowing. Huh? And you are upset. Hold on. Huh? If you don't think veins and vines simultaneously work with the same function that Holy Spirit governed the earth to deem itself important, you have lost your mind because uh, anytime you got a vein clog, huh, you got a whole problem. Hold on, you artery people. I hope you take your blood pressure medicine, drink your water. Somebody said, keep them still. You're teaching today. Hold on. I hope you take your blood pressure medicine. Keep it on down now. Keep it on down. And some of you don't realize you in the season of good blood flow. You in the season of good wine flow. It means your vines are strong enough for everything to flow through it and to it because you don't understand. You have underestimated yourself because you are a vine. But I ain't an old tree. I ain't a tree. Child by. Hold on. The Bible but the class, Ezekiel, if you cut the vine down and burn it from both ends, could it do anything? Hold on. If you throw it in the fire, hold on. You could throw it in the fire, but the minute you cut the vine down, it's still going to produce something because there is something about a vine that understands its assignment. The vine understands its assignment. The vine understands its assignment. The vine understand its assignment. It understand. Hold on, because y'all don't y'all think I'm playing it. I ain't playing it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Deuteronomy eight and eight. Hold on. A land of wheat and barley, of vines and fig trees and pomegranates. A land of olive trees and honey. Honey. It's all associated with the vine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A divine vine is growing. Holy Spirit said. A divine vine is growing. See, when he gives his divine authority over a vine, it's going to go through everything the enemy throws at your way. And so watch this. Anytime the enemy tries to throw a barrier, the divine vine of God going to break through it. Head up, And so you don't understand. Go outside today. I bet you won't look at vines like you looked at them before. You will look at it growing up a wall, going through a fence, coiled around the gate because the vine understand direction. Do you not understand that vines understand that? Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, y'all, y'all, don't get me in trouble with God. Hear me. Vine understands the voice.